All right, everybody, so I'm recording my first new video, or my first video on my new phone. Uh, and so today's video is actually going to be about something that I like to talk about a lot anyway. Um, I almost busted my ass just now. And all you motherfuckers would have laughed because I would have went ahead and uploaded this shit anyway. <laughs> Imagine all the laughs I would have gotten in the comments. Oh, my motherfucker fat ass fell. <laughs> anyway, uh, so today I'm actually going to talk about something that kind of bothers me a little bit. Um, I'm into technology. And, uh, I mean, I don't have the best tech in the world, but I, I got some pretty good stuff. Um, and the thing that bothers me about, we're going to talk specifically about Apple and certain other products. Um, okay, so this might actually be two parts, I don't know. Anyway. Um, everybody knows I'm not good at getting right into my videos. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, um, what bothers me is things like, uh, proprietary cables. Um, I can see the video quality is a ton better on this phone. Um, proprietary cables and stuff like that. Uh, you have two markets pretty much. You have your Android. You got your Apple, okay? Now, um, a lot of people who are, who are Apple users have a lot of brand loyalty. So, they're not going to get away from what Apple gives them. Um, Apple being a, a more of a closed system, they're, they're usually a little bit better, better optimized because they're a closed system. Um, so they're going to have their own proprietary cables, which is not, um, something that has only been done by Apple, okay? It's been done, uh, Samsung did it, uh, I don't think LG ever did it, but I know Samsung had that little weird one that was a micro USB attached to... Um, a uh, a mini USB, I believe. You guys know what I'm talking about, anyway. So, um, <laughs> so you have your uh, your Apples, your Androids. Then it gets um, it gets more more to it than that. Um, so first off. I wanted to talk about, or now getting into that, I wanted to talk about proprietary cables. So, the USB, the U in USB stands for universal, meaning it's supposed to be used by everybody so that you have um, compatibility. Now, most people don't know this. But you're gonna have a, you you have not even all mic or not even all micro USBs are universal. Um, you have micro type A and you have micro type B. Um, that just has to go with directions and you know what it's facing, how it inserts into the port and stuff. Um, it's not exactly proprietary, but it's not universal either. Okay. Um, and each different kind of cable is going to charge at different rates. So you're going to have like your, well, I mean, um, I believe lightning can handle up to a higher current. I believe so. But again, I've used Android my whole life. I've been on Android since fucking Edge was out. <laughs> I mean, Edge is an old internet connection. I've been on Android for probably... 13 or 14 years so like I know what's up I've been on it since Edge 
that's bad. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so we get that out of the way. Um, just basically covering universal cables versus proprietary. I wanted to really get to the point of this. Now, I didn't really have, as you can tell, this video is a little scrambled. I didn't really have a whole plan for this. This was just kind of triggered by a video that I was just watching. Sorry. Anyway. So over the years, you've noticed that, like, Apple will do things, right? Nine times out of ten, I don't put a video out on it because... I don't really pay too much attention to them. I mean, I'm aware of what they're doing, but I don't really pay too much attention to them. I wanted to talk about removing the headphone jack from the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, over the years, no, Apple's sort of done things like this. Remember when every, Remember everybody when they moved the CD-ROM drive out of their computers. It's... Remember when they took the 30-pin uh, away? 30-pin dock connector? You know, and they switched to Lightning. Those were all done in the name of we're gonna conserve space to stuff more hardware in. And I bought it the first two times. I bought that excuse. Reason being that I'm going to advise people against buying it this time and believing what I believe to be is a lie is this. Um, Apple stands to gain a lot of money, and they already are from removing that headphone jack. Have you ever noticed that Apple typically, I mean, they'll remove stuff and then never follow through with what they say they're going to do. Their tech, their technology doesn't get much better. They, I mean, if like the iPhone 1 did iPhone 7, yeah. But like, tell me the difference between the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 7. Not much. Not much, maybe uh, some kernel updates, uh, some, you know, maybe an update with a little bit of bump in power to the battery, which still fucking sucks. Um, <laughs> you know, they never, they never come through with what they say they're going to do. It's always in the name of of getting more technology into the phones. They just never actually get around to it. Now, somebody raised an interesting question in the comments section of that video of, hey, uh, how long do you want to keep the headphone jack around? I mean, it's been around for, for like 100 years. Well, currently, we don't have anything that's better at carrying sound or information other than that headphone jack. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, there's one way I can think of where the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is actually more advanced than what we have. And most people don't know this. You know that you can actually charge if, if it's programmed to do it, if it's built to do it, you can actually charge through a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. I've done it before. I've had devices that do it, not phones. Now, I don't know what the, uh, what the power is on that. I don't know how many volts you can push through it or not, but I know it's possible. And yes, you can run audio through a lightning cable. You're right about that. But 
the, the best audio that I've heard isn't even through Bluetooth. It's always through a wired connection. And if you listen, if you listen closely, audio through a 3.5 millimeter is a ton better than audio through a lighting port. Okay? So that wasn't done in the name of in the name of uh, trying to save space. That was done in the name of $160 ear pods that you're now going to have to go out and buy if you want to charge your phone and use headphones at the same time. Or, you know, a $100 battery case because your battery sucks. And connecting, having to connect via Bluetooth all the time is going to draw on your battery bad. So it's going to make it suck even more. So you're going to want to charge it while using those things, and you might be out of the house. So now all of a sudden here you are buying $150 AirPods and a $100 phone case. So, or $160 AirPods, sorry. So that's $260 more that you're spending. Apple didn't do this in the name of innovation. You know, I was watching another video yesterday by Magic Tech reviewer. I think that's his name. He, he works for Cricket. His videos are all over YouTube. But, um, and he asked the question of what you consider an upgrade. And so my answer to him was accessibility, or not accessibility, but like what you can do with the phone. Customize, customize, if it's customizable, battery life and screen size are the three most important things to me. And I, I think the iPhone 6 had something like a 1500 milliamp hour battery. My god, that's bad. That's bad. That is, the, that's one of the lowest milliamp ratings on the market right now. If you have an iPhone 6S or 6 Plus or an iPhone 6 or 6S, my phone, I can, by the time I've killed it twice and I'm halfway through, or by the time you've killed your phone twice and you're halfway through the third time, mine's just dying. Later.